So I started photography because when I was in seventh grade or so, I got $100 for getting straight A's. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy a camera. And it was like a tiny Nikon camera. And it was like a mom, I call it a mom camera. And I pretty much just like shot with it and went outside and took pictures of just leaves and stuff and was just really entertained with myself. I ended up getting for my freshman year Christmas, I ended up getting a Canon T6 and I was, and it had like interchangeable lenses and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know how to use it. And it, I just started taking pictures for my friends and stuff like that. Like I started taking pictures of nature and I was like, this just seems really boring to me. And I just like liked having someone in front of me and I could kind of guide them what to do. And I just like the quality of them. And so I like started off with my friends and then I started going to like certain events and people were like, oh, we like your like portrait photography. So then I just started working with like just different models and stuff that just for free, just like figuring out like what I like to do best. So I mainly do creative portraits, which isn't just like senior pictures, people smiling and being all happy. It's more, uh, I wouldn't say dreary, but it's more like, creative aspects around the person and it's not just about the person it's about things that are going on and certain things that the person is doing and it's just kind of a different way like a different version of like senior photography and like family photography and just like a branch off of that kind of what makes me different from other photographers is the fact that all the posts that i make are black and white because when i first started photography i was like i don't want to just do portraits because a bunch of people do portraits i want to do something that's different there are definitely a lot of errors like i had to change all my settings like a million times or I would just put everything on auto and was like this is how I'm gonna shoot for this day it kind of just depended on like what weather it was and stuff like that I would just change different things or look up like different apertures and how they were to different ISOs and kind of just like played around with all my settings just to figure out how it all worked and then just from there I mean I still am playing around with settings and figuring out how it all works so it's just like correcting myself and having like multiple errors so photography has helped me because it's opened my mind to other people and that just because they aren't already models and they aren't already photographers that they can't be either one of those. So I work a lot with a lot of my friends who have never posed in front of anything but an iPhone camera before and then being in front of my camera just shows a different side of creativity in their eyes, in my eyes. And it just opens my mind to what people can do, even if they don't know they can do it. And it just helps me get out of the house and not doing other things and not thinking as much about how other people are doing all these amazing things because I'm so content with what I'm doing to the point where I'm not looking on Instagram thinking, oh, I wish I could be doing that. I should be taking that picture. Like now just other photographers inspire me, but like I like my own work enough to where I don't feel like I'm not doing good enough as like other photographers that have more followers and more likes than me. I support being a young photographer in a lot of ways that don't even involve photography. Like I have two jobs um, in retail and then, I mean, I get some money from just like from senior photo shoots and just photo shoots that I, cause I don't really, I don't charge that much because I don't think that photography should be something that you like dread having to spend money on. Like, so I just, make certain money off of that and just save up money for new accessories, new tools, new materials that I can like work with and stuff like that. Get to know the other photographers around you because that's definitely important. Like you can't just do photography by yourself. You need other photographers and other models that you've never known before to be around you and just to be open-minded when it comes to photography and try new things because the new thing that you do might be what you want to pursue for the rest of your life. So I would just definitely experiment and just meet new people all the time. So my plans for the future are just still pursuing photography and just being more creative with my things and growing more as a photographer. But I want to major in psychology in um, college, but I still want to continue photography after college just because it's my hobby and it's something I love to do. So me going to college isn't going to stop that even if I don't major in it. It's obviously going to be something I do on the side, just like I do now with high school.